YouTube world. What up, vlogging guys? We got a new guy with me today. My man Mark. New part of the DDK Line family. You're gonna be seeing this guy a lot, so we're out here up in the hills. Well, we're actually in the middle, just waiting for Lisa. The camera. All right. All right, bloggers. Vlog. Are we going? All right, we're filming. All right. So I hope you liked the first vlog. It was kind of boring, but I figured, you know, fuck it. Everybody was just like, get the vlog out there. You know, I, I made like six with the other camera guy. And then <clears throat> I never ended up doing anything with him. I just didn't like any of them. Uh, and then we just decided that he's going to, you know, kind of do like, you know, we're going to do little short episodes with him. And, you know, and now actual camera guy. So we're going to do three different types of vlogs. So, but I figured, fuck it. We'll just get that other first one out there. Now, <clears throat> Seriously, Mark's new guy that, uh, you know, I mean, he's, he's been been following us and been with us, you know, at, at, in, in heart for a long time. But, you know, I know I put out a post a while ago that, you know, we were looking for, you know, somebody else and that somebody else has been found. So, you know, I appreciate everybody that, that put your time in and put your effort out and, and you know, contacted us. Um, you know, we're, we'll, we'll be building. We're going to keep building. More people will be coming. Um... But you know we're happy that we that we found that we got in contact with Mark and we found Mark and you know we're gonna be able to do a lot of different things. But dogs out here drinking in the puddle. So he's really gonna be doing. You know him and Lisa are gonna be taking off with the obedience and, and really going crazy with that. And uh, you know they're actually gonna be <clears throat> offering classes here. Um, so not just board and trains. So they're gonna have the class going on. And uh, he's gonna be do a lot of assisting with. The, uh, the DVDs and everything. I mean, just full on living. He's here 24 7. So get used to this guy, man. 100%. 100% here. So out here, group walk one. We a little late today because he arrived late. Drove all the way in from North Carolina. Yep. So it was deep, you know. So <laughs> got in at like 10. That's actually going to drop in, in um, the kind of the, the episodes where my camera guy films us from, from the outside. Just the kind of behind the scenes look at everything. Um, like I said, I really didn't like using a camera guy for blogs. It was just kind of weird. So I feel like this is a blog. Like I said, you and me and anybody that's with me. That's a blog. So I figured that's how we do it. So we got this little, little funny camera, which yes, YouTubers, it's HD. When I sent over the first one, I just didn't transfer it right. So, um, it was just 480 on the file and honestly it was late. I had to leave. So I, was, I just figured I'd get it out there for you, so you had it. I figured the majority of you would appreciate me for that, but I knew some of you guys would get on me for the quality. I know you guys too well. But, so, <clears throat> that's why that one was in, uh, not in HD. This one will probably be in HD. But what happened is I actually went to transfer the file, or have the file transferred. I went to go have the file transferred over. And uh, I signed into my YouTube account. And I don't YouTube like generates two accounts for you. So I have like an account that just has my name and zero subscribers. And the video actually is the video is actually on that channel in HD. So if you think I'm bullshitting, you can go over there, check it out. It's in HD on that channel, but it probably has like no views because there's, there's uh no subscribers. So that's what happened there. That's why it was uh not in HD. But this camera is HD, and I got it just for this, just for you guys. And then we're going to be doing some other cool stuff, so. But right now we're going to go find the stream. Hold on, so meanwhile, what's actually happening, we missed it. I should have been filming. Lisa's trying to tell me that there's more than seven dogs that I have with me. See, what she doesn't know is, every time I am in the mountains, I have an exact count of who is with me. That I have seven dogs with me right now, and I do. There is. There's seven. One, two, three, four, five, six. And there's a dog over there. Let's go! See? I bet you didn't know there was a dog in there. I knew there was a dog in there. I did. No, I wasn't saying you. I was saying... Lisa doesn't know about blogging yet. She doesn't know that it's just on. You and we just... just talk. I know you're... I know you're coming. Blogs are kind of strange sometimes. You catch awkward moments. But it's good. Mom, like this awkward moment happening right in front of me. That this dog just pooped. And is pooping. And I gotta walk to this side. I'm in sandals. That could have been real awkward. <clears throat> but in the woods, hiking, 
Oh man, dumping. Here you go. Here you guys go. How about that for a vlog, real time DDK line family action? Chief taking a dump. Pause it. Freeze frame. And Junior and Gemma walking into him when he's pooping. And Chief stepping in it. Oh man, you guys are just. You guys are made for TV. You guys are made for this stuff. Alright, we'll go. Let's hit the river. They're running out. Running out. They didn't know which way to go. For all the people asking, oh, how the dog. Dogs don't run away. When you're a proper pack leader, dogs don't run away. Dogs will never run from you. You know, they'll run to you everywhere you go. So you just keep it moving. You know, I'm going where I'm going. They know they're following. Whether they're in ahead of me in moments like this or out in the middle of the woods. Trust me, if I turn back and go back that way, everybody's going to follow. If I want to gather everybody together, I whistle, they all come. <clears throat> Control over your dogs is key. You know, especially if you're gonna have these this many dogs together. Oh yeah, my bad. I left Lisa behind us. My bad. Come on, Lisa. This is she's she's got something in there. She shouldn't even be walking up here like this, but she always insists on coming in these mountain walks. Cause it's pretty hard to not want to walk up here in the mountains. I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna peep the camera over this way. Here we are at the water hole, and you realize, you ask why I'm building my house over here. Well, this is why. Here we are, cooling off at the water and all. Once you get everybody exercised for the day, then you can get to work. So yeah, and if you notice, you probably didn't notice, no Hulk today. He's inside, he's relaxing. <clears throat> so he's just taking, he's taking a break. He's got some stuff, he's got a film coming up, so. He's just, he's just keeping it cool inside. Ah, uh, thank you for saying shit, because we're on the way down, and there's wild shit. I want to pay attention. Look at these. Look, dude, look at this. Just like a pack of wild animals. Uh, uh. When they get too far away... Hey! Just reel them back in. Gianna! Uh-huh. Uh-huh. They just like run back and forth. Yeah. But he just asked us if we've seen bears out here. <laughs> seen like 30 bears out here. There's a bear sitting on a rock by the house in the Yeah, a bear actually welcomed me to my property the first day I got here. At four in the morning there was a bear sitting on a rock when I pulled in. Ah, get out of that. Ew, there's a head. Look at it. There's bones to a moose. Look at the skeleton, like all the back pieces. The head. Ah, no. This dude, stand on a moose head. Dude, gross. Come on. I'm not touching that thing. That's disgusting. Yep. So there's a dead moose out here. Bones. I actually saw him when he was like freshly dead. Not too fresh, but kind of fresh. Yeah, it was gross. Yeah, he was like, oh, there's something. He thought it was like Sasquatch or something. This guy, this guy thought he made a discovery. Dude. Ghostface, man, like, wow. Your ex-girlfriend, that's how you treat him? Just tromp over her head like that? That's friendly of you. Yeah, yeah. Oh, pretty sure he's got other puppies. <laughs> this blog stuff is just so basic, you know what I mean? I'm so used to, like, all this, like, production and, like, you know, doing things a thousand times over and... You know, having to say this or say that, whatever, you know, like, 
this major production to like this $200 camera that I hold in my hands here. That probably is going to bring a whole lot of you a whole lot of entertainment. But it's just new to just kind of leave it on and like run in and, you know, like I said, some awkward moments when you're blogging, I'm sure. But this is only blog too, so it hasn't even got close to being that awkward yet. I'm sure it'll get more awkward the more and more kind of I remember this camera. Because I was actually halfway up the hill and I had to send somebody back to get the camera because I forgot it. Because I'm not used to this whole thing. But I'll get used to it slowly. And it'll be fun. This guy's running through puddles. It's crazy out here. See me look back all quick? I was just making sure that he wasn't really about to run me over. Yeah. Because they, they will, like, bump you, hit your leg real quick, take one out. It, uh, it happens every once in a while. It happens. You got to lie. You, for real. I caution anybody that comes on a pack walk with us. You know, that's bear poop. Actually, if you're wondering about bears. And Gianna would decide. Gianna figured that she'd mark that bear poop. That's her bear. All right. She's like, I produce bears, so that's my bear. Woo! Man, dude. Can you not with that kind of speed? Oh, man. You and your dumps. Back from the pack walk. Cross. Just got me and Zion outside right now. They're up on another walk. Oh, Hulk. So I'm a big guy. Don't push the AC out. So everybody's mad. Yeah, that's what happens. Everybody, and now it's, you know, individual walk time. So everybody upset when they not on their walk. So they all in their room barking at me. Zaya was Zion. I'm just let this guy get a little exercise on. And yes, he is wearing an e-collar right now because I have a new guy here. This is a dangerous dog. Yeah, who doesn't, you know, I don't need any slips or any mistakes or anything, you know, anything to happen. So, you know, precautions. The dog wears an e-collar when he's outside for now. Um, you know, just so you have, I have control at a distance at all times, you know, so it's, it's important, you know, so. And also, as you follow this channel and you'll learn, you know, e-collars are, you know, one of the greatest tools created for a dog trainer. You just have to understand how to properly use it and not abuse it, you know, so. I mean, I think people are great all the time. You come with this, like, oh, well, you know, this is abusive, that's abusive. Guess what? I want to break some news to you. You can abuse an animal with this right here if you misuse it. So remember that, man. Remember that. Abuse is, is, is in the mind, you know? So, you know, you got, there's a major difference between discipline and abuse, you know? And if you're abusing something, yes, it's not going to be a good tool to use. But if you use it properly, e-collars are beautiful, you know? They, they work great, you know? They can teach you dogs learn immense control, you know? And I've actually used them, you know, in, in positive ways, you know, to help dogs, you know, with insecurities. And there's a lot of different ways that you can use e-collars. Um, so, word to the wise. But Zion, baby. He's not even, this guy just busy with the smells right now. He's like, I just want to walk with you and smell stuff. That's what he wants to do. He doesn't even want to chase his ball right now. Oh, yeah, he does. He just didn't see it. <laughs> What's up, buddy? No day. Good boy. <laughs> Good boy. Good boy. Let's go in the shade, bro. It's freaking hot. I'm gonna stand in the shade. I'm hot, bro. Sign me. Don't I? And my, I mean, the e-car is in, is actually in my pocket, so I'm not using it at all, you know, right now. <clears throat> you know, they don't need it. A finished dog really doesn't need it. You know, like I said, he has it on because it's a precaution. You know, that's all. Zion is about his ball. Now you want to eat it? No, fully. You can't eat it, dummy. Well, 
up there walking some more dogs. Zion's down here playing. I'm out here getting hot. I'm about to bring him, him in, bring out Ace. You don't want to get in, fella? <laughs> he doesn't want to get in right now. He's too busy with his ball. I tried to throw a little stick in there to get him to go in with it, but he doesn't even care. He's like, nah, man. Got this tennis ball right now. I'm busy. No, no. Foy, don't I? Sign me. I got this guy. Oh, settle down. Settle down. You're always excited. You're not stealing anything. There's no stealing going on of my balls. No, man. Don't steal. You're a nice boy. Oh, sit. Relax. Boom. Bah, support. Why are you up there? You're holding a wrench on the side of my truck. Dude. It's like you're scaring me, dude. Come on. Get the ball. It's right there. Forget the ball thrower. Just throw it with your hand. I don't know where it's at. No, no, no. Wait. Get his attention. Oh, he's peeing right now. You gotta call him to you. He's busy peeing. Ow! Good job, man. So, obviously we're out here exercising ace right now. For everybody that ask, you know, how do you get a dog? How's the dog get so ripped up? Is this steroids? Is he doing this? Is he doing that? No. How we get so ripped up is this is a consistent just one exercise. I mean, you'll see a lot, but I mean, ball, throwing the ball up and down the hill. And there's actually a tire back there. He does drag weight up and down the hill. But the key to getting a dog to be in good shape is <clears throat> called consistency. That's what it works. That's how it works. You can't, you don't expect you're going to go to the gym. You're going to get muscles if you go there a day out of the week. Oh, he's got both of them. Huh? Oh, he's got both of them. Ace, come on. Sit. Alright, guys. Throw it. So, just showing you too, you know, because everybody's always asking about Ace and kids and people, and as you can see, my kid's out here playing with the dog here. <clears throat> He's the one throwing it. I'm going to get a toss so I can give him some distance real quick, but out. He's all. He's always, he's always out here helping me exercise the dogs and work with the dogs. He works a lot with Ace, so. Now, like I said, back to what I said, exercising a dog, consistency. If you're consistent, you'll, you'll have a good conditioned dog, you know. A little piece, you know, out here in the yard, kid. You know, exercising Ace, you know. Lots of questions. I get lots of questions about exercise, you know. How do I get the dogs to look how they look? And this and it's real simple. This is how. This is how I do it. This is how I do it. Between this and yeah, I have a you know we have a slot mill and uh, different treadmills and stuff that we'll use. But the majority of his exercise is running, being active, wall climb, climbing trees, active, 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 active. That's what it's all about. Just here at the stream, letting this guy cool off after his workout. Jordan's climbing all over the rocks. I know, careful, careful, please, careful. Ace is in the water, trying to cool off. I know, good job. So, the blogging is very random. I just kind of bring my random thoughts to you every once in a while, but I hope you guys are enjoying what you're seeing. Hope you're enjoying what you're watching. Um, you know, today's been kind of another low-key day. Um, we had Mark just moved in, so we're kind of letting him adjust and meet all the dogs and go on the group walks and you know see you know see how we train and um, 
I haven't really done any training yet for them. We'll, we'll get there. But, um, but, you know, a little bit. You know, I mean, we, we've been talking a lot, but I'll be doing um, protection work, actually, we're going to be doing tomorrow. Uh, probably a little bit of base work. I actually have Lisa hold the camera when I do a little work with ice, so you can see a little bit of that. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much what I got planned for the rest of the day. And I actually have to go to town and get him some other stuff for, like, his room and get situated and you know, basic kind of house stuff. Um, I got a couple meetings that I got to have um, tonight. Uh, I got to get online with my uh, literary agent. I got to talk to her. Um, I got to get in touch with the producers and find out where we're at for scheduling the shoots or that are going to be this week coming up. So... So I got on my list of things to do, but I hope you guys are enjoying these vlogs and just kind of following us around at random points. I know I, my, I had my assistant on there telling me like, man, you got like, feel 40, 50 comments that just people want to just see cars. It's like, this isn't a car channel, but I'll let you see there's some cars. And... What the hell was that? And we'll, we'll put, We'll put some cars up on there. new car coming possibly two um, so yes I love cars and I have lots of cars but I, you know I'm not like a, a you know I'm not that's not what this is about for me you know like yes I've I've you know been rewarded by what I do and you know I make money and you know all that and, and you know now I can live some of the dreams that I've always had but you know at the same time you know a lot of that stuff is more for a while there's smoothie yogurt spilled on the back of my truck speak of trucks there's Smoothie yogurt all over the back of my truck coming down my bumper. That's gross. Nice kids, great. Um, yeah, you know, the producers and stuff, they like to film, like, you know, me, like, buying a, you know, a car, an exotic car, you know, something. They like to get that on film and capture that whole thing. But for me, it's like, you know, I like to do what I do with these dogs. I like, I love these cars because I love them. I like the feeling that they give me when I drive them. And, you know, that's why I have them. You know, I don't really have them to you know, show off for the world, you know, what I have, and, you know, this and that and the third, you know, contrary to what anybody wants to believe. Um, that's not why I purchase cars or anything like that, so. That's why there's not, like, tons and tons of clips of cars, and I'm not like, here's my, this car, and here's this car, and here's this car, and here's this car, and here's this car, because this isn't Cribs, and this isn't Pit My Ride, this is Dark Dynasty Canine's blog channel, so, you know, you'll see the cars and the things that are in my life, you know, as we... You know, as we go along, I think this blog thing is going to be kind of it's a little weird for me, but I'm adjusting. Um, but you know, I think it'll be cool. Yeah, I mean, I think you'll get get some interesting kind of perspectives. From... All right, so we're back. Pretty much been here all day. Like I said, like I've been saying all day, new guy. So we uh, get him used to everything. I'm about to actually get in the bite suit. Like I said. Uh, hasn't seen me train or do anything yet, so now I'm gonna get in the suit and do a little teaching and uh, have some fun with some of these dogs. Um, Lisa's actually laying down; she's pregnant, so I don't know how much filming we're gonna be doing of that. But maybe I'll have him hold the camera for a second. But I don't want him to be too distracted in filming. Sorry. Normally Lisa's up, um, so I don't want to be too distracted in filming. I want to be paying attention to what's going on and intaking the training and, and you know paying attention. But I'll try to get a couple little clips for you, so you might see a couple little clips of me getting in the suit, the dog, and different things like that. But this isn't really what this is for. If you want to see the dog's training, look for all of our other videos, and you can see all that stuff. <laughs> So anyways, we're going up right now to go try to catch that, see that sun? We're gonna try to catch that sunset for you guys. Got my dudes in the back. Riding out. Try checking this, but it's the house site. 
the sunsets from my new house are gonna be crazy. So I'm hyped on that. It's gonna be a while, a couple years, but you know, hey man, look at that bang, look at it in the rear view. Can't even see it in the rear view, but it's gone. Oh, now nah, I got you guys at a good time. Here you go. Check this out. And this is why I am never mad about nothing. Hello, sunset. Hello, where you live. No complaints. Crazy. Love it. So blessed, so thankful, you know. It's like from the places I've been and lived and all that to that. Yo, chilling. Out here, got your homies in the truck. Sunset over your shoulder. Family in the house. Dogs up here. I got air in my lungs. Roof over my head. Food on my table. The hell to be mad about, man. The hell to be mad about. It's crazy. Right? It's a bad it's not a bad view. Not too bad. Down the road at the like a road is opening, it's crazy. So I take pictures over there it's occasionally. Like yeah. It's crazy. Awesome. So there you go, you got a sunset too with your vlog. See that? Man, coming through, man. It was the second vlog in like two days, man. Wow. Wow. This little mini camera, the wonders that it can do, huh? <laughs>